Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to talk about some talk about some posts and comments from our previous videos. Well, there was this question that asked, "What happens when we attach a 95 watts high power injector to our working network system?" Well, I can tell he's concerned because some of our users they have a, their business is kind of depending on you know, the whole network system and they can't handle it if it's compromised and if you add a 95 watts high power in injector, it sounds like it's going to easily overwhelm our whole network system. Well, you don't have to be afraid at all. The 95 watts high power injector doesn't really constantly give out 95 watts of power. It really depends on the initial handshake. So the edge device, when it's connected to the injector, they have to get to an agreement and at a certain amount of power that when they, the match happens, then it will release the power and accept the power. So our 95 watts high power injector has this great feature in pump components. The components can prevent it from short circuiting and also the low voltage is, for, is safe for us to have physical contact but not encouraging us to actually touch those electric parts. So after like talking about the high power 95 watts injector, we know that he will actually match the receiving receiving device to you know give out the correct amount of power. So there's no worrying of you know making the whole system suddenly disconnect, malfunction. Okay now let's kind of talk about how we're going to attach this to a working network system. I have a working network system here as you can see, the camera, you can see the video feed on the screen here, this is a, power, this is a regular switch, and first step we're going to have to disarm the whole system, so disarm the system. I'm going to connect our 95 watts high power injector, connect it to the alternating current up outlet. So right here it's connected and there's the power indicator is on so now the power is going through. Now we need some data to let run through it. So this is connected to our main network, it goes to Ethernet port. It goes to Ethernet port. And then this one that is connected to the camera, this Ethernet cable goes to the Ethernet plus DC port. This is where the PoE power Ethernet outputs to the camera. Now once this whole system is set on, there's power and data flowing through this whole system. I'm going to wait for it to turn on. It's self-diagnosing. Wait for a sec. The image should show on the screen in no time. You can see the image has popped out. It's kind of blurry. I'll give it a few minutes to kind of zoom in and focus. Now I think it's come done and you can see the image is no different from when we started this whole explanation. So we can say that if we add like a 95 watts high power injector to the whole system. There's no difference at all. Alright, that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any more questions or comments, leave them at the section below. See you guys next time. Goodbye.